Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Trakulic and today I would like to say you a few words about Inkscape, which is a free and open solar source alternative to programs like Illustrator and Corel Draw. Uh, the basic concept behind Inkscape is that when you create an illustration, illustration using this program, uh, actually what you do is to create a number of objects that you can later on manipulate you can move, you can rotate uh, around and you can give it some properties. Uh, so every shape you create in Inkscape in, is in a way it is a, an object uh, with certain properties and a certain ID. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking to you about. So let's say I wanted to create, to, to draw a rectangle shape. So I'm going he over here to the, to the toolbar and I'm dragging, a drawing a rectangle of some sort here. So, this shape now it is considered by Inkscape as an object. Meaning that if I go over here you can see the object menu, click on that and select this, uh, this tab here that says object properties. So if you click on that you can see a pop-up window. Alright, and in this window here you can see the ID that the program has given to the certain rectangle that I have drawn. Also a label that has been given to my uh, shape which actually is an object. This object has a, a, a fill color which is blue and a stroke color which is a lighter blue. Right? It has a... Uh, for example I could, I could change the, the color for the for the fill color, for example, uh, uh, that 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 means that every every object you create to in Inkscape has certain number of properties you can change and manipulate. Let's go ahead now, select another tool, which is let's say the Create Circles and Ellipses tool, this one from the toolbar over here, and let's let me try to draw a an ellipse this time. So this shape also is a tool, is an object. Excuse me. So this object has, as you can see now from the object properties here, it has a different ID, right, and it has a different label. By the way, from this window you can, by selecting any object or many objects for that, for that matter, you can, by using the Select and Transform Objects tool, which is the top uh, most tool over here, and let's say you selected the ellipse you can now, you have the option to hide this object or unhide it and you can lock it so you cannot move it anymore. Let's go ahead and unlock this object. So if you want to unlock the object you need to go to uh, this object menu here and unlock all the objects. Now you can again select it and you can move it around. Well, every object has some you know some properties like uh, position you can position it everywhere inside your your page you can see the border of the page here you can rotate it let me try to show you to give you an example to rotate it all right you can scale it you can even skew it as you can see or you can scale it all right now for every object you have two levels of manipulation. You have the object level, like, like when you create the object, and then if you go over here to the path menu, you can select from this tab here, click on that, and, and let's select object to path. Now, nothing seems to have changed, but uh, this object now has been converted into a path. So if I select my path tool, edit paths by nodes, you can see that now my rectangle has become a shape with nodes that I can move around and I can give it any shape I wish. All right? Whereas my ellipse is still an object, meaning that if I am selecting, if I select this edit path by nodes, I have only a few possibilities here which have nothing to do with nodes but just with with drawing, for example, a certain slice and things like that. So I have a limited 
uh, you know, uh, uh, some limited interactivity, if you prefer, or I can uh, transform the object given some limited options that, that I have when it is in the object level. But if I go ahead and conv convert it into a path, all right, so let me, let me convert it into a path first, and I want to show you, all right, let me convert the object to the path. To path. Now you can see that if I select the Edit Path by Nodes tool, I can move around those handles here, which are Bezier curves, actually, Bezier handles, and I can give it any shape that I wish. So that's very, very interesting and uh, really gives you so many possibilities. So now, another thing that I, I, would, I would like to talk to you about is that every object in Inkscape has a certain it, it, it is stacked according a certain hierarchy, meaning that if I move this ellipse over the rectangle here, you can see that now the ellipse is found over the rectangle, is situated over the rectangle. So there is a certain uh, stack here. There is a certain order, right, uh, according to which my objects are stacked. So, but if I now go to the object menu again and select for the for the ellipse lower or press page down for the same purpose you can see now that the ellipse has moved behind the rectangle so i have changed the z depth if you prefer of the two objects okay now uh, of course you could have m many more objects overlapping right so you can go again over here to the object properties and lower them down or uh, or, uh, you know, just hiding them behind other objects, okay? So there's a certain Z-depth factor here, if you prefer, when uh, it comes to the objects, okay? So, uh, at, at the most basic level, every object that you create, every shape you create, has uh, some very, very, uh, you know, uh, basic attributes, uh, such as the position, the rotation, and things like that. For example, it has, if it is a shape, a closed shape, it has a fill color and a stroke color, all right? If it is a text, let me create a text here, let me type in, hi there, this, uh, this text here, all right? All right, now we have here a text object, all right? You can see it, I can scale it as every any other object. So if I selecting this tool here, the I can scale it, I can move it. You can see now it's found uh, on top of the other shapes, but I can select object lower, so I can hide it as any other object. As you can see, it's still here, but it is hidden, all right. But I can always see the hidden objects by going to view over here and display mode. Uh, outline so I can see now my hidden uh, text here so I can select it as well if, if I need I can if I need to I can always go ahead and select object and lower and, and, and raise it up okay pay, by by clicking page up for example let's return now to the uh, to the normal view okay you, you can see now that the text has uh, come uh, over the, the, the ellipse all right, in front of the ellipse, if you prefer, closer to the screen. Okay, now uh, you can select the objects, and you can many object objects at, at once by rubber band select. All right, and you can even arrange them by pressing Control Shift A. This is another very basic property that they have the alignment. So you can you are given many options here. You can choose from. Okay, and you can. Uh, of course, uh, you can position them in a very, very, uh, you know, exact way. But I, I think that this is going to be uh, the uh, the topic for the for a future tutorial. For the moment, what I want for you to uh, take home, if you prefer, is that everything, every shape you create in uh, Inkscape, it is a kind of an object wh which you can uh, manipulate. Okay, by uh, either at an object level, like this text here, or if you convert it into a path by going to the path menu here and object to path, you can then you can then 
select the edit path node, edit path node tool, and then select every node here. Let me zoom in so you can better see it. Go here and select a node. All right, you can see the many nodes here for the letter E, and you can just drag a node. You can see, and you have something like that. You can manipulate the shape of the letter okay something like so all right so that was our tutorial for today i hope that this was a rather useful introduction to the basics of inkscape i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from this if you like this don't forget this tutorial don't forget to subscribe see you next time with a hopefully interesting topic until then have fun and goodbye